Okay, in this question, we have a liquid in glass thermometer. Okay, the liquid column measures 100 mm when the temperature is 0 degrees Celsius and the liquid column goes up to 250 mm when it's left in 100 degrees Celsius. And when the liquid column becomes 190 mm, so what is the temperature? Okay, we can write out the relationship between the liquid column and the temperature of the thermometer. So, um, when the liquid column increases from 100 mm to 250 mm, 100 to 250 mm, it corresponds to a change in temperature of 0 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. So, in this case, you can say that an increase of 150 mm in the liquid column brings about 100 degrees Celsius change in temperature. So um, when the liquid column is 190, that means from 100 mm to 190 mm, it is an increase of 90 mm. So this 90 mm, it will correspond to 90 over 150 multiplied by 100 degrees Celsius this will give us 60 degrees Celsius change in temperature. So we have to add this change to the initial uh, temperature, which is 0 degrees Celsius. And we get a final temperature as 60 degrees Celsius. Answer A. Okay, which of the following will increase when the liquid becomes a gas at its boiling point? Okay, the average kinetic energy of the molecules will not change because uh, kinetic energy is related to the temperature. So during boiling, the temperature is constant. So the kinetic energy will be constant. A is wrong. Okay, when, when the liquid becomes a gas, the molecular size will not change. It will stay constant. So this is wrong as well. Okay, um, from liquid to gas, the molecular arrangement it it will become like closely packed together to uh, molecules being far apart from each other so c is correct and the total number of molecules will not change so the answer is c okay we have a transverse wave that is moving to the right and we are asked what will happen to the wave particle p and q in the next instance Okay, so what we have to do right is to draw the waveform at the next instance. So we just shift the entire wave slightly to the right. So this is how the wave will look like in the next instance. So in order to form uh, the, the wave, this particle P it has to move downwards and this particle Q, it has to move upwards. So the answer should be Q should move up. Answer D. Okay, uh, we are given a wave and the distance between the successive peaks is 0 0.6 meter. This is the wavelength. And we are given the frequency is 2.5 Hertz so with this, we can find out what is the speed. So the speed of the wave is equal to f lambda. It will be 2.5 multiplied by 0 0.6. We will get 1.5 meter per second. Okay, so how long does it take for the wave to travel 3 meter along the spring? We can use the DST formula. T is equal to distance divided by the speed. So it will be 3 divided by 1.5 will get 2 seconds. Answer C. Okay, um, we are asked which diagram represents the path of a ray when it enters uh, this block. And this block uh, is made up of a glass block and a reflecting silver surface. So what happens, it will be uh, something in option D. 
when the light ray uh, comes in because it's tra traveling from an optically less dense to a denser medium it will bend towards the normal and the light ray it will undergo reflection on this reflecting surface and when it moves out of the glass block is traveling from an optically denser to a less dense medium so the light ray will bend away from the normal so the answer is D